What's up guys, Eli with Beyond the Lawn here and uh, I got a bed insert that we're gonna be installing today. Um, it's a Brymar, um, never heard of this brand before, but this is what sold me. So this, it like locks in, so you gotta get it into that little groove there. And then, so nice. Um, and then that's it, lock it. Um, and then it will also dump like that. This will swing out like that. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Never installed one before. Haven't even looked up how to install it. So uh, trial and error. Um, I went to Lowe's, grabbed a couple um, bits so I can drill into the frame. Um, we do have to take this off and um, I gotta uh, lift it up and we have to take the um, the plastic liner in the bed, we gotta take that out. Um, Cause I want good contact uh, with the, with the uh, bed of the truck. Right now it's sitting on that plastic, it could slide around. Um, that and the bolts that they sent uh, with it is not long enough and I, uh, I'm afraid that over time that plastic will you know smash down and uh, make those bolts loose. Um, so yep, we're going to hoist this up and I'm going to cut up the bed liner, throw it in our dumpster, and yeah, come on. She's lifted just enough to uh, pull forward, and then we're going to start uh, cutting this uh, liner out. All right, real quick, I want to show you guys um, the dump insert. It's right here. Uh, we got this control. Um, wish I could run this into the cab, um, but that's fine. I've I, I used a uh, I used a dump insert that was in this was in the cab, like in the in the driver door, and that was nice. Um, but yeah, here's that. Made in USA, baby. Um, yeah, it is pretty slick. There's the, uh, that's the top mount for, for this. It'll go up against the window. Yeah, pretty slick. Pretty slick. There's the undercarriage. So, here we go. Got it all clean. Look at that. So rusty. So rusty up there. This is the only clean spot. I mean, I mean that's just dirt. But washed it all out, and now it is ready for this guy. All right, let's do this. So, these bolts right here. Wow, I don't know if you can see that. Let's get closer. So that is the actual bed and the frame. 
Uh, there's one right here and there's one on the other side. I'm gonna take those off and I believe that this will lift up so that way I can put the safety bar that is on that side um, locked in place and then we can actually start bolting this down. Um, I hoisted this up. So this is holding it up also that because it kind of makes me uneasy to crawl under here. Not saying that that would fail, but if it does, um, the hoist has got it as well. Um, so what I've done is made sure I've measured this point to, to, the, to the sidewall, uh, vice versa, made sure that was even. And then down here, made sure that was even as well um, from, from this corner to there um, and the same on the other side. So making sure that that is all um, even. And I have went under um, with, with my low, uh, my creeper, my low profile creeper there, uh, went under the truck and made sure that everything, um, when I'm drilling down, I won't hit anything. Um, and I'm gonna do that uh, per side, just, just so I can stay fresh with it, just make sure that I'm not gonna hit anything. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple, uh, I'm gonna do a couple bullets, I'm probably gonna do maybe one or two right there, um, and then probably two right here. Um, and then down here, um, I'm gonna put two, they have these little brackets. Let me get you, let me get you a little bracket here. So here, So they got this little bracket. This little bracket goes on like that, but on that back bar. Um, because as you can see, oh, as you can see, it just barely sits right there on the on the bed. So you can't really anchor it down here because you'll be in that crease and it'll weaken that um, that right there. So you put that bar right here, and you can actually bolt back there. So that's, and I got four of them. So I'm gonna do one on the outside, two, or uh, so one on this side, two in the center-ish, I mean spaced out, and then one on the other side. That way the back is secure. Um, and then, I'm, like I said, I'll probably do two here, two here, um, one here, one there. Um, I might do some more. Um, I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna see when I get into it. But uh, yep, make sure that you are perfectly even. I mean, you don't wanna be off to one side um, for uh, mounting it. Uh, make sure that uh, when you're drilling, you got some somewhat short drill bits because um, you know, on this side, I have my fuel tank. Um, I mean, it's several, several inches. It's like four or five inches away from just the, the back of the frame. But just make sure you don't wanna, uh, <laughs> you don't wanna pierce through that because that would be expensive um yeah so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna bolt it in before i start dabbing into the electric and running it to my battery so uh here we go got um i ended up doing three bolts here three bolts here um this was too close to the frame there was a bar i tried to put one in there too close so three here three there i did one here and one there um, and then you can see how these mount mounted. And I got four of them. So uh, yeah, this this guy ain't going nowhere. All right, so I got that done, and I went ahead and ran the electric. Um, now you can see everything's tidied up, and I'm going to explain everything. Okay, so there's your positive, the white, and then the ground black wire. I grounded that. There you go. Grounded that. I, uh, you could put a hole there if you wanted to be like super slick and you know, not this everywhere. Um, I went ahead and went with the manufacturer hole. There was a hole there. There's a hole right there. Um, so I just ran it down and then I ran it to the belly of my truck. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it's right there. Ran it all the way underneath. Zip tying it along the way. Um, Rain it up, and here is my positive. There's my negative. Um, I I would always suggest just to make sure that you don't have wires crossed. I mean, you're following this. Hey, I am not electrician, but I am sure trying. Um, I uh, I just ran that wire right through here, and I rested it there and sat it on here. 
and wired it up, made sure that nothing was getting hot, everything was working before I actually ran it through the belly of the truck um, or along the belly of the truck and hooked it up to the uh, battery. So here we go. Uh, we got that. So we'll close this. That's done. And then went ahead and pulled the rest of my slack because I wanted this um, along along the side here. I wanted that to be nice and tight. Um, so I pulled this up, zip tied the rest. That's that's the only slack I had, maybe a little less than a foot. Um, and then. They gave me a lot of wire here. Not sure what all I'm going to use. Um, that's why I just zip tied it. I can always cut it and unravel some more. Um, so my thought was, whenever the bed is down, um, I don't want to be I don't want to be fishing for that remote down here. I want to be able to just slide my hand right down here, and I use this little loop right here. Put a little zip tie. It's not tight. the The wire can move through it. Um, but my thought process was, if I can find that wire, I can at least just pull it up, something like that, and then voila. Power is down pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. So, yep, just like that. Just like that. So, just come in here. To find that wire that's on that post that's down there. All right, fish that. Got it. And go up. So we are about to put this on the front, and that is all I'm going to do today. Um, I will be putting the um, I will be putting some sidewalls um, on here with two by fours. I'm probably going to split them right here in the middle. Um, I want to split them so then that way I can take off the back section or I can take off the front section. All right, got my bolts. Gonna wrap this up. All right, that is it. It is done. Um, wanted to show you guys uh, an extra bolt there. So um, this actually does not sit on the in the front of this plate. I actually was mistaken, and it actually sits on the back. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.